Hey, what's up guys, this is Mario, and today's video, I'm gonna go over a short trade that I uh, did on Zoom. It's a second day continuation type of trade, uh, also known as a low hanging fruit type of trade. Uh, but in this case, it's in a short side, so I did short Zoom, and I'm gonna go over uh, technical analysis, uh, a little bit of overall market uh, fundamental analysis, and it kind of explain why this trade works. All right, guys. Let's get started. So let me uh, share my screen. All right, and okay, let's do this. Okay, so why Zoom? Why did I decide to short Zoom again? Now, Zoom uh, has been, uh, was overextended on October 19, and it kind of created this, um, uh, what, what I call a um, blow off top. And I decided to reverse after that, and it sold off. Now I did trade this uh, yesterday uh, as a first red day. So technically yesterday was the first time it went red and it sold off all day. So it was a beaten down stock, sold off all day, trended down all day. And because of this, this allowed me, or this kind of gave me an indication that tomorrow was gonna be another day of sell off. And the reason why is because when uh, there is a stock that sells off all day, it just tells you that there's heavy sell off volume and especially if it closes at the lows, which it did here, literally close at the low of the day. Uh, it kind of gives you an indication that there might be more selling tomorrow that uh, either institutional investors or other um, individual investors are selling, they're taking the profits. Um, and that may happen tomorrow again because again, it closed the low of the days. Now, the other thing that I wanna mention is that the overall market sentiment was also not, well, not good as well. So the market hasn't been doing much either. Uh, again, on October 19, there was a huge sell off. And yesterday there was this, um, almost looks like a reverse uh, bearish type of hammer candle. Um, and this actually, the, even on the 20th, October 20, it looks like a doji candle. So there's really nothing much going in the market. So to me, uh, there was really uh, nothing to tell me, you know what, this could reverse, um, you know, today. Uh, not only that, but there was no news as well. So I, if I go over here in the news, there's really no news. There was no news today. Um, they, will, they will tell me like, you know what, this could uh, squeeze out or uh, this could kind of squeeze, uh, squeeze any shorts or anything like that. Uh, so that was another, another reason why I decided that it was a good time to short again. So <clears throat> where did I short? Now, for uh, low hanging fruit or second day continuation type of trades uh, on the short side, I always like to uh, enter on, on the midpoint as my first time, my first uh, entry short, my starter size, you could say. And I like to add on the next levels, either uh, intraday, uh, intraday resistance level or R1, which is the resistance uh, level on the pivot side, the pivot level. Uh, and continue to add, you know, and stop is usually on yesterday's high of day so if it, if it breaks over this then that's you know what it's definitely not gonna work there's a reverse in the market i want to get out and usually i like to trade this when the first hour of the market open if it's after the first hour of the market open and if it doesn't hit my levels i'm not i'm not interested in it uh, so luckily for me it actually did um hit my hit the pivot level so there was a strong open <clears throat> excuse me there was a strong open at, at the when um uh, when the market opened uh, and it created some sort of squeeze and it literally hit the pivot level. I already had an order in place. I started short at uh, 540.10 and it literally held that level. Um, it started to create uh, lower highs, lower highs. Um, and it didn't, it didn't break over that. You know, um, if it were to kind of go to this level 557.50, which is a resistance level in the entry uh, chart based on the yesterday's uh, price action, I would have added more. But it didn't. It actually started creating lower highs, lower highs, and it broke this uh, 545.40 and below the VWAP and created a uh, lower, low, lower, low. So this is giving me an indication. You know what? Uh, this price is going to reverse. Uh, I'm going to add to my position. I'm going to add to a winner and let it let it do its thing. <clears throat> so I did that. Of course, I, my stop would have been uh, 549.10 because uh, if it creates higher highs, then of course I want to get out. So added short, and I wanted to, of course, cover in the next support level, which was this uh, this line right here, 
uh, based on, again, prior days uh, resistance and support levels. I covered half there. In the next uh, second half, I decided to cover 5405. Now, I could have covered just uh, half again and, and held for the rest. Uh, but then again, these type of moves are hard to kind of predict. That's the reason why it's so important to uh, follow the lines and cover or short on the lines because this, this could easily bounce. This could have easily bounced um, and just happened that it didn't. And it just literally kept selling all day too. Not just like, not just like <clears throat> a little bit, literally all day just kept selling. Um, and again, I would have been an amazing, actually uh, second trade would have been uh, right here after the, if there went red, if there went red and it kind of pulled back, it would have been a perfect place to short out here again and let it ride to the, to the S1 pivot level. But then again, again, guys, I only like to trade the first uh, hour of the day. And after that, get out. Um, this could have been a, a great swing sh short as well. But to me, I, I'm, I'm a day trader, so um, I don't really worry about that stuff. Uh, but overall, I actually felt like I did a really an amazing trade. I sized in at the right time, added to my winner. I covered at the, the, the levels, the, the, uh, the right, correct levels uh, based on support levels, based on the intraday chart. And just to kind of show you guys where these levels come from, they literally come from right here. You know, these areas, you know, these are support levels. So, uh, so that's pretty much it overall this trade. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this, uh, this type of trade. Uh, again, uh, these are some of my favorite uh, easy, the, the reason why it's called a low hanging fruit uh, trade is because it's, uh, it's, it's an easy type of trade. You know, there's really nothing much to it. You just gotta put your entries uh, at the right uh, resistance levels or support levels if you're long and let the stock price do its thing, you know, and, and just collect, collect the profits uh, if, it, if it hits your, your, your target areas. Uh, so, hey, don't forget to hit the like button, please, um, and to, to support this channel. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please ask them below the YouTube comments, and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions. Uh, that really helps and supports this channel. Thank you very much, guys. Until next time.